Welcome into the ESPN FC studio. Of course, between now and the kickoff of the new season in England, we're looking ahead at some of the teams that maybe you're not so familiar with. Today, we're talking about Leicester City with Alejandro Moreno, Shaka Hislop, and Stevie Nichol. This is a team, of course, that won the championship at a canter last season. You take a look at their statistics. Of course, they're certainly accustomed to playing in the Premier League. Last time they were back, was it 2003, 2004? They were there, the managers at Nigel Pearson, very experienced journeyman, certainly has coached a number of teams throughout his career. David Nugent was top scorer last season, lower the notable sign that they've made so far. They won Division 1 back in 1928-29 season, where Stevie was just starting his career. Um, Stevie, what would you make of Leicester and their prospects? I think it's going to be a tough old season for them. Uh, I think the fact that David Nugent was the top scorer last season, they have to bring in somebody else to compliment him. Uh, David Nugent, uh, who's been in the Premier League before uh, with, Port with Portsmouth and just didn't cut it. Um, so that's going to be a problem for them. Apart from the usual, the usual stuff that the new teams face, the, the pace of the game in the Premier League, uh, when you make mistakes in the Premier League and you're on defending third, you get punished. That doesn't happen in the championship. So they've got a lot of things going against them at the present time. Shaka, you of course played for a team that got promoted from the championship to, to the Premier League. What's it like? What's that difference? What's that jump like to make as a player? I, I think it's, it's huger than you expect. And the one thing, especially for a club like Leicester City, who have been in the Premier League for some time, is that, well, nobody really knows who you are. Nobody really knows the players. So that um, lack of familiarity maybe works for you early on. And Leicester will have to make the most of it. The trouble is, I just feel that the gap continues to widen be between the two. Um, as much as you have to get off to a good start, you also have to have a deep enough squad. But you look at last season, squad. Crystal Palace stayed up, didn't they? No one gave them much of a chance. No, and, and we There's mentioned... Always one. There's always one side out of the three that, that usually does really well. Um, and, it's, and it's all the things that Shaq is talking about, you know, because, because nobody knows them and because every single game to start with is a cup final for them. Mm. And if he can get enough points... To start the season, that sort of carries them probably halfway I, I through, and then they have so many points near the 40 mark, and they can stay up. So it, it's, it's. I think the, the thing with Palace as well, and, and we've praised Tony, Tony Pulis no end here, but he knows the division. He knows about bringing a club up and keeping an unfancied club up in the Premier League. And he got that effect from Crystal Palace, as he did with, with Stoke previously. The trouble is, Nigel Pearson experience, yes, but in the lower divisions, mm -hmm. and a lot of that as a caretaker. You just don't know how he handles the pressure, the challenge of the Premier League, and what is an absolute dogfight. It's one thing managing a club at the top of the championship, it's completely another when you're bottom of the league, you don't know where your wins are going to come from and how you keep that team motivated. And you know you're going to give up chances uh, when you're a team that it gets promoted. There's going to be chances for other teams. And you know you're going to be in games where all of a sudden you're going to have to grind out a result. And in order to grind out results, you have to get big-time performances from your goalkeeper. So to me, and, and I look at the goalkeepers for Leicester City, and, and, and the name that just jumps at you is Schmeichel. Mm. And Casper Schmeichel is going to have to have a Peter Schmeichel-type season in order for Leicester to have any sort of chance to stay up. In, in many ways, Pearson has to be their best player uh, because he when teams... play this. <laughs> don't, be, don't, don't be clever, Dan. It's not becoming. <laughs> because the team's not used to losing. They've been promoted. Everybody's on a high. And he knows that there are going to be some Saturday evenings when they're going to have taken a beating from some of the big boys. They're used to it's winning. It's all about how he reacts as a manager mm -hmm. and puts that onto his players. If he comes in on a Monday morning and his head's away low down like everybody else, then it's going to be a long old season. He has to make sure that whether they play well, whether they get beat, whether they win, he has to, he has to stay on a level playing field so that every day... He's cheery and he's getting his, he's getting his boys going and everybody's not walking about skulking after another defeat. 